Jordan, it's great to talk to you today. Thank you for having me. Can I say, first of all, congratulations on Kong and uh, compliment you on your beard as well. Both of them are beautifully crafted pieces of art. So uh, <laughs> really, uh, well, enjoyed the film as well. So uh, thank you. I, I mean, I, I would hope the movie's more impressive than my beard, but you never know. Well, actually, uh, I think you're actually hairier than Kong, aren't you? L well, Kong actually is. I think the number is there was 18 million unique hairs that they had to like put it on him literally by hand over the course of like a year. So I don't, this is two years. Two this, years this worth, been, okay. This has been cut, but uh, I don't think there's 18 million of them. That's all you though, that's all your own work. Yeah, it's all, it's all real, not that fake CG stuff. I've got two words uh, for you, monkey butt. We need to talk <coughs> about monkey butt. So uh, in the design of Kong that you were chatting about, um, where did the kind of the physical appearance come from? Because that first time when he walks away, I think there was an audible gasp from the entire IMAX and they went, oh, Kong works out, there you go. I mean, if you're gonna be the protector of the island, if you're like the god of an island, you better you better have your your uh, body in order, you know? <coughs> Can't just let yourself go down on Skull Island and uh, just fall apart. That's so, true. No, but like that's like a weird, it's a very, really weird, serious conversation that you have to have with people as adults where you sit in a room and say, okay, so he's got his butt and he's where his genitals and how much, and you have to like frame shots of like around his butt. And you, like, you have to think about these things. It's very the, strange. The butt shots were impressive. Thank you. Uh, now, you've mentioned that Apocalypse Now uh, was a, an influence. And I think on that film, Coppola had a nervous breakdown. Martin Sheen had a heart attack. I don't know if there were any heart attacks on set, but was there ever a moment where you thought personally you were looking around and going, holy shit, I hope this all like works out and everything's going to be OK? Uh, I think the entire two and a half years I spent on the movie was me saying, oh my god, I hope this works out and everything's going to be OK. <coughs> I'm a neurotic Jew uh, by nature, so uh, I don't really count my eggs until they hatch, um, ever. Um, you know, some people say, oh, celebrate the small victories. Like, I don't, I don't work like that. Uh, I'm about the, the big battle. So, uh, honestly, it's funny because a big part <clears throat> of me wanting to go in the jungle and wanting to, like, shoot this practically and wanting to do this movie was this idea of, like, I want to go in the jungle and lose our minds. You know, like, I, I love the making of our, our, our Apocalypse Now. Like, it's, it's an incredible, weird journey, and I do think the process of making a movie is as much a part of the movie as the movie itself. And then there are times where you're in the jungle, and you're like, oh, we're losing our minds. I guess this is what we wanted, you know. And it so, was all worth it. We'll let the audience decide that, I guess. Do you think, was, uh, was Jurassic Park maybe another influence on you? Or there were certain uh, elements of it, and then I'm wondering, in it, kind of follow up to that, whose idea was it to get Samuel L. Jackson to say, hold on to your butts? Um, Jurassic Park was a, an influence because I, I mean, I love that movie, but I wanted a movie that sort of like took the awe of something like Jurassic, the original Jurassic Park, but then fused it with the, not only the aesthetics of Apocalypse Now and taking like a Vietnam War movie and combining it with like a creature feature, but I love the idea of fusing the original Jurassic Park with like the edge and like squad based military aspects of like aliens you know, and giving it much, a much harder edge to it. Um, and the hold on to your butts thing was funny because we put that in the script, me and one of the writers, uh, and it was one of those things where I was like, he's never gonna say this. He's never, he's never <laughs> gonna say it, no, not a chance. And then it was just one of those things where, like, I didn't say anything about it on the day, he didn't say anything about it, and that's the great thing about Sam, is he's just, he's, you know, I think if, if it makes sense to him and he thinks it's fun, like, he'll go for it. And Kong is obviously a great ally to have if he's on your side. But, uh, and there's some wonderfully, uh, beautifully creative deaths uh, throughout the film. But I was wondering if you could get Kong to stand and crush somebody underfoot. One person, uh, who would you like him to crush for you? Ooh, you're gonna get me in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, God, I really can't say the person on camera that I would love. <coughs> From to crush. There's a lot of bad things um, happening politically in the world right now, though. And last question: um, What should we do with people who use their phones in the cinema? You know, I, I just it, it, the problem is not people who use their phones in the cinema. The problem is people who are addicted to their phones in general. You know, it's not it's not a cinematic problem. Like this is a epidemic that reaches far beyond just cinema, where <clears throat> you feel. You feel alone if you can't check something to see what's going on. I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I think it's extremely uh, rude when you do it, but more so it's just sad to me. Like, how are you not invested in this movie? How, how can you not just put your phone away for two hours? Um, so, you know, I think their punishment is, has already been given to them because they're incapable of, like, temporarily stepping away from their lives.
Deep. I think that's the deepest answer we've had. <laughs> <laughs> Most people resort to violence. But Jordan, uh, thanks very much. Congratulations yeah. again on the film. It's lovely to Thank talk you. to you. Yeah, yeah, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.